Hey guys, I feel well enough today to make a video, so here we go. I'm making a video today. Um, how's it going? What's going on? Um, I wanted to vlog the whole experience. I'm kind of upset I didn't, but my surgery went went well. Um, they pulled out the mass. I'm still not sure what it is yet. The um, the doctor said it was pretty much like. It was as big as a golf ball, she said, which I was like, what? So it was nuts. So so let's just go through the motions and let's just tell you what happened. Okay. Okay. Let's just go give you a play by play. Alright. It's 8.30 in the morning. I go in. And, uh, you know, get all ready, get settled up, you know, whatever. Um, take my blood pressure, you know, whatever. Like I said before in my previous vlogs, I've never been to my hospital but before I fair myself. I never had a surgery, IV, stitches, I never broke a bone, you know. I'm pretty healthy, you know, that has my weight, you know, because besides that, uh, I've been pretty healthy. And, um... I've been in hospital one time when I was little because I had asthma. But, um, so, they, yeah, so, Thursday morning, 8.30, I went and whatever, um, around, like, 9.30-ish, they actually hooked me up to an IV on my arm. I don't know if you can, I can't flip it around, it's right there. I don't know if y'all can see it on my arm, but I how he... My first IV, I didn't cry, I was happy. They didn't get it in my veins and my hands because my veins are small, which, I mean, I thought they were kind of big, but they're skinny. So I'm like, thank you for doing it in my arm. But, you know, well, it's like, ah. But I didn't, you know, I didn't cry. Like, mother. Nope. It just was like, ow. And I was like, that, but I was pulling and tugging, I think, like by accident. And it was really weird because my arm felt like dead, and like I kept like I kept like making like fists, to and like shaking it, and like I, I felt like like I was getting like pins and needles. So I know that was normal or not, but I was like it's probably fine or whatever. So I had the IV and I'm just kind of laying there, just hanging out. I was really mad because I didn't have any like Wi-Fi in there, so I was I was gonna make a vlog it, upload it, but they didn't have any freaking Wi-Fi. I was like, what the hell? But, um, but yeah, so did that, played like Fruit Ninja and all, and, and it was, and it was, it was fun. My mom and my stepdad were there and it was, you know, it was good. Um, after that, we, well, I went into the pre-op room and, um, I met with the surgeons, you know, anesthesiologists and I was kind of nervous because the anesthesiologist was, um, how do I properly say this? He, um, he was, he was, he was, he was Indian. And because, I mean, no offense to you guys, you know, whatever, but his accent was very strong. So I could get like every other like fifth word. So like we're talking and I'm like, he's like, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, so wait, I'm going to be. I'm going to be, like, knocked out, right? Like, I'm going to be asleep when I'm doing the surgery. He's like, oh, no, no, no. Blah, blah. I'm like, wait a minute. I'm going to be awake for my surgery? Like, what What do you mean? He's like, he's like, uh. And then, like, something happened. Like, he left the room. And, uh, and like, I was talking to one of the nurses. I was, I was like, wait, 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 wait. I'm not going to be awake for this, am I? And she's like, no, no, no. What you're going to be in is you're going to be in a thing. She's like, it's really hard to explain uh, unless you study anesthesiology. But what it is, it's like, I'm in like, it's called, they, they call it like a twilight, um, sleep where I'm going to get it through my IV, but I'm going to be breathing on my own, not like a mask or like, you know, some weird shit and be on my own breathing, you know, just like asleep, just being like slightly asleep, like, like deep enough so they can do it and I'm not going to wake up, but you know, not deep enough so I can wake up and you know, not, you know. Tomatoes, pretty much. So, alright. 
So then, you know, I was like, okay, because he, I was like, okay, because he's saying that I'm going to be awake, like, you're going to knock me out, like, I don't give a f- what you got to say, you're not going to be out. So I'm laying there, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and then this, and like, these girls come in, and like, the one girl's like, oh, I'm, I'm a student, I'm like, oh, I'm going to be a freaking lab rat, I'm like, this is awesome, I was like, great, great, so, um, and then the doctor, whatever, she's like, oh, yeah. she's like, the great thing about, because I, I can't, I'm one of those people who, like, can't touch, like, swallow pills, so I was like, I need to have liquid pain medicine, I can't take pills, I don't care what you gotta give me, but I can't take pills, all right, whatever, fine, oh, you know, you're not, you're not, you're not gonna hear anything, really, just, like, Tylenol, you know, you're not gonna really, need, it's, the deck the surgery is like, oh, it's like virtually painless operation. It's just, just, just a small incision. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, oh, great. Like, it's fucking awesome. So then, you know, I, they're, and like, they're wheeling me in and I was cold, man. It was freezing in the hospital. I had like eight, I had like eight different blankets on. Like, literally, I had like eight blankets on. I was like, I'm so cold. And like, they're like, how you doing, Chrissy? Like, this, like, the one. And I see geologists who, you know, spoke English and was, you know, I was like, oh, thank God. I was like, I'm, I'm really cold. And he's like, okay. And he they throw on heated blankets to, like, like, heated blankets. Like, they they heat up for, like, five seconds and, like, they die. But whatever. So we said, do you want do you want to make it cloudy but before you go under and then give you some more? Or, you know, I was like, you make me cloudy. <laughs> make me cloudy. And he's like, okay. Put it in my IV. Said, all right, Christina. It's in a couple of seconds. And then the next thing I remember, I woke I was waking up. I have this weird freaking oxygen thing on my finger. It was really weird. I was like, what the hell? But I woke up and a lot of people apparently get sick when they have anesthesia. I did not. Thank God. Because my stomach's very, very sensitive. I'm, I'm not going to lie. When I was... But I was getting that IV in my arm, like, I was like, I gotta go to the bathroom. Like, my nerves were shot. I was like, oh my god, I'm so scared. But, I threw up and I was like, I was, I, was, I was scared about that. But I was up and like, and like, you know how you're like, you're supposed to like sleep after your surgery? Sorry. You're supposed to like sleep after like your surgery, right? Uh, I was a while like, I was like, that, apparently I was talking. I don't, like, I kind of remember saying it, but I was like, that, I didn't feel a thing, mom. Blah, 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 you know. I feel, I feel great. Oh, yeah. But she's like, Chris, shh, it's okay, shh. And they gave me, they gave me a saltine cracker and they gave me ginger ale and, and I was good. I was good. But they didn't, but they didn't give me anything to go home with. So, and eventually, like, midnight, Give her, like, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning. And I see it was, like, wearing off. And I was like, oh, my God, this hurts. And, like, they made this, like, like I said, I got a tumor thing out of my breast. And, like, they made this, like, this, like, freaking tape bra. And it was, like, there was, like, barely any foam. It was just tape. But it was, like, my raw skin. So it hurt taking it off yesterday. So so yesterday, I, I, I couldn't sleep. Thursday night. I was in a lot of pain. I couldn't sleep because the freaking tape was all in like my, it was all like, it was like all here. Then like tape, like in like my freaking armpit. I'm like, I'm like, what the hell? And like, it was like itching and like, I was like, oh, so yesterday, um, I got my stuff taken off. Um, the, the, we had went, we had scheduled to, to come in earlier because we were supposed to go in at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, but the girl was going to leave at, like, 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 the girl was going to leave at 1. And the doctor was going to leave at noon. I was like, uh-uh. So we came in at 11. But since, you know, my, that, the whole Friday, like, 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 the whole morning, like, I was getting sick. Like, like, when, I, like, I was just in, I guess, because I was taking, like, children's Motrin, because, like I said, I can't take pills. And I guess that was making me sick and just... I, I guess I ate more than I should have because I was freaking hungry the day before. And, um, so I went in to the doctor's and, like, I was really, really, like, I don't even know, but I was like, I have to go to the bathroom. And, like, I went to the bathroom and then like, I came back and then 
the girl I was supposed to take off my tape was doing uh, was doing an ultrasound. And I'm like, um, I gotta get this off. What do you, what, what? Like, I came here to see you. And then they tried to have the secretary take off my, um, my tape. But she didn't put any, um, gloves on her hands. And my mom was like, yeah, you're gonna put some stuff on your hands? Like, what are you doing? And she's like, oh, well, they're too big for my hands. And I was like, I don't care how, how big they are, but you put them on your hands when you, tell me, when you touch my kid. And I, I feel the same way, personally. But the, she was trying to take it off, and she wasn't she wasn't taking it off. And it was just it was just really, um, it was really bad. My, my mom ended up taking it off, and I'm not going to lie to you. I started to cry. I was screaming because it hurt. Like, like I said, it was raw skin, and I didn't have any pay meds. They didn't, you know, they didn't ask me what my pain tolerance was because I don't have any. Like, I get paper cut. I have paper cut. And I, I cry because it hurts so bad. Like, I'm a wuss when it comes to pain. And they didn't give me any, any, any pain meds. So she finally prescribed me Tylenol with codeine. And I'm taking that. I feel a lot better today. Still in pain, though, here and there. Sometimes my left one. My left breast start to hurt now. So Friday when I get my stitches out, she's going to check my left one. Maybe do like an ultrasound or something, whatever. But it needs to get done because if if this has to get... If there's something in the left one, I want to take it out because it hurts. I mean, right now it hurts. Like, as I'm talking to you, it hurts right now. I don't know what's going on, but I'm going to get the back the biopsy results um, on maybe Friday, hopefully. We'll see. I asked her girl before I went under. She said it takes like five business days, but we'll see. Today's Saturday, so probably gonna be until Friday. My guess Thursday, Friday. But I wanted to, I wanted to make this video, and I wanted to, um, I, 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 like, I wanted to see what it looks like, like the whole like tumor. I want to see what it looks like. I know they're like picking it apart and doing shit to it and whatever, but. I want to see what it looks like because because I want to that was I mean this has been like the hardest thing I, I, like I've ever had to go through physically in, in my life I've been through you know a lot of mentally and emotionally hard stuff but this this is different and this is pain like physical pain and I mean I what I sprayed my foot ninth grade and now and that'll always just be sprained because of the way um it happened at, and sometimes it hurts your neck, but just like this is surgery, you know, like I, it's major surgery. Like I went under the knife, like anesthesia, stitches, the whole nine, like it's crazy. And I wanted to make this video to, to, to document that I did it. Like I'm like a big baby, but I, I like I did it. I got surgery at 20 years old. I just turned 20 last week. I turned 20, what's today, Saturday? I turned 20 a week ago today. You know, it's crazy. October twelfth, I, I I turned twenty, and it's just it's just nuts that, you know, week after my birthday, I you know I I, I go and I get it done. It's, it's nuts. It's crazy. But um, I just want to make this video for 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 myself and like you know I got through it and I mean I'm I'm a baby and if anybody out there you know is having surgery or you know you know whatever, you can get through it too. It's going to be hard and it's going to be painful, but you can get through it too. Pain medicine is amazing. Take it when you should take it. I had my, well, I won't be taking it. Like, I got it, well, yesterday, you're supposed, you're supposed to take it every 15 milliliters, like three teaspoons every four hours. I've been taking it, I don't know, I took it twice yesterday and I took it once today and it's what, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock? It's like 10 o'clock at night right now, so... You know, I've been taking it when I when I'm in a lot of pain, but today I was really really lightheaded today, and I'm not going to work Monday because um, I'm just not feeling like I'm not up to par yet. And today was the first day that I've actually had sleep and got to sleep, and you know it was nice. And I, it's kind of hard to sleep at night. I'm having to I've been having to I've been having to sleep with ice packs at night time, but hopefully tonight I'm not gonna have to. But this video is getting like really, really long. I gotta, you know, I gotta stop. But um, so I just wanted to say, if you guys have been following my story or whatever, thank you for following it. Thank you for subscribing. 
Uh, just want to take you on this journey as well as myself because 